Hi dear, this is the last part of this uh, chapter 1 chemistry, uh, chemical reactions and equations, uh, chemical equations and reactions, okay. And today we are going to see activity 1.10 and 1.11, okay. So, in activity 1.10, what we are going to do is, take about 3 ml of sodium sulphate solution. Sodium sulphate, what is the formula? Uh, Na2SO4 sodium sulphate solution in a solution in a test tube that means it will be in the form of crystals it has to be dissolved in water then uh, your solution is ready okay in another test tube take about 3 ml of barium chloride barium chloride is BaCl2 okay again it is also a solution it is in the powder form it has to be mixed with the water then you will get a solution uh, Barium, uh, barium chloride solution. Mix these two, two solutions. Okay. So, this is your activity. Okay. We are going to mix the sodium sulphate solution with the barium chloride solution. What is your observation? So, if you mix up, this is a test tube contains Na2SO4 and this is the test tube contain BaCl2. These two are solution and it is clear. Clear solution. It is transparent. Okay. When you mix this, if you mix this, what you will get means, you will get a white substance which is insoluble in water is formed. Okay. Once you mix this, once you mix this, you will, uh, the colorless solution becomes white. Your white substance. If you are, uh, if you are pouring, uh, it, the white substance will be formed. Okay. Which is insoluble in water. Okay. So, what is your conclusion from the sodium sulphate that is aquash. Why it is mentioned as aquash? That, that means uh, solution in water is called aquash. Do you remember this physical state of this uh, uh, reactants and products? This is aquash plus barium chloride is also a aquash solution because this is also uh, dissolved in uh, water. Right? It gives barium sulphate. What is this? Barium sulphate which is solid, insoluble in water, it gives a white precipitate. What is the color of the barium sulphate? It is white precipitate. It will, it will settle down. So, you will have an insoluble precipitate here and you will have a clear solution here. That is your NaCl. Okay. NaCl, sodium chloride. Okay. So, what is your conclusion from this is, uh, what, what happened here? This is Na plus SO4 minus Ba plus and Cl2, Cl minus. Okay. So, now this barium is combined with this. This positive is combined with this negative SO4. And this positive is combined with this negative. That is interchange of ion has taken place. See, uh, this barium plus is combined with this negative SO4, Ba SO4. And this negative is combined with this positive. Sorry. Uh, this positive is combined with this negative. So, uh, sodium and chloride. NaCl. Okay. So, this is your plus and this is your minus. This is your again plus. This is your minus. Okay. Only simple interchange of ion taken place. Okay. Interchange of ion taken place. So, this is an example of what? This is an example of double displacement reaction. Double displacement reaction we have studied, right? What is happening in that? Simple interchange of ions, okay? In the displacement reaction, based on the reactivity of the metal, one, uh, um, thus one or more reactive metal will replace the less reactive met, uh, metals or non-metals, right? But here in the displacement reaction, only the interchange of ion takes place, okay? So, in this reaction, a precipitate is formed, right? A precipitated form. If a precipitate is formed in this reaction means we can call this reaction as a precipitation reaction. Okay. This is also called an a precipitation reaction. Okay. <coughs> this is your uh, activity 1.10. That means uh, that this uh, activity shows the dis double displacement reaction. Only that is interchange of ion taken place here and this is an example of precipitation reaction. Clear on this? And we have seen one more precipitation reaction in which activity? Do you remember this? Mm, activity, 
activity 1.2 am i right and this yellow precipitate you remember that that is also a precipitation reaction that is also a example of precipitation reaction this lead nitrate is what is that actually mm. activity 1.0 right lead nitrate react with the uh, potassium iodide do you remember this this is also an example of uh, precipitation reaction because you got the yellow color precipitate here this is actually a precipitate okay this kn13 is colorless it will be it will be like this you will get a yellow precipitate at the bottom and you will have a clear solution this is kno3 potassium nitrate and this is your lead iodide this is also an example of yellow color precip uh, uh, sorry precipitation reaction okay and then next activity is your last activity from this layer is activity 1.11 heat a china dish containing about 1 gram copper powder okay we are going to uh, heat this uh, copper powder and we are going to see its sub, uh, reactions what is happening so how we are going to conduct this uh, test means we are going to take a tripod stand like this okay we are going to place a wire gauge above this and above this wire gauge you are going to keep the china dish which contains the copper okay above below that you have go, you are going to uh, keep the sprit lamp or any burner bunsen burner okay so if you heat this what is the color of the copper you know that it is brown okay brown color copper powder that upon heating it turns into black color what is your observation from that that brown color copper it is converted into black residue right that means the surface of the copper powder becomes coated with the black copper oxide upon heating this uh, copper rea copper reacts with oxygen present in the atmosphere and what is formed copper oxide is formed okay what is the color of the copper oxide that is black okay this is your observation and what is your conclusion from that when copper reacts with oxygen the presence of heat it forms copper oxide okay which is black in color okay since addition of oxygen is taking place since addition of oxygen is taking place addition uh, oxygen is added to this metal combined with this metal then it is a oxidation reaction right this is an oxidation reaction uh, if you uh, the cu plus o2 gives cu again this is oxidation you, you know most of the reaction in oxidation and reduction uh, takes place in a uh, will be taken place right if you pass the hydrogen gas hydrogen gas copper uh, copper oxide plus hydrogen it will give again copper plus h2o this is your reduction reaction because why why it is called re reduction reaction here uh, reduction means this removal of oxygen see cuo from cuo this uh, o2 is removed this is called reduction or we can say hydrogen is added added to this cuo hydrogen is added to this means it is a reduction reaction this is an reduction reaction okay we can reverse this process uh, we can reverse this process we can get the copper back by passing the hydrogen gas to this okay in copper oxide reacts with hydrogen gas gives copper plus h2 okay clear on this so in the activity 1.1 we have shown the oxidation reaction that is uh, copper when heated but it will take long time a long longer lot of time to convert into black color okay so cu plus o2 gives cuo which is black in color okay clear on this thank you